Let's shadow story. Peter Pan. In the light of the lantern, Wendy saw his hook grip the boat's side. She saw his evil, swarthy face as he rose, dripping from the water, and quaking. She would have liked to swim away, but Peter would not budge. He was tingling with life and also top-heavy with conceit. Am I not a wonder? Oh, I am a wonder," he whispered to her. And though she thought so also, she was really glad, for the sake of his reputation, that no one heard him except herself. He signaled to her to listen. The two pirates were very curious to know what had brought their captain to them. But he sat with his head on his hook, in a position of profound melancholy. Captain, is all well? They asked timidly, but he answered with a hollow moan. <sighs> he sighs, said Smee. He sighs again, said Starkey. And yet a third time he sighs," said Smee. Then at last he spoke passionately. "The game's up," he cried. "Those boys have found a mother." Affrighted though she was, Wendy swelled with pride. In the light of the lantern, Wendy saw his hook grip the boat's side. She saw his evil, swarthy face as he rose, dripping from the water and quaking. She would have liked to swim away, but Peter would not budge. He was tingling with life and also top-heavy with conceit. Am I not a wonder? Oh, I am a wonder! He whispered to her, and though she thought so also. She was really glad, for the sake of his reputation, that no one heard him except herself. He signaled her to listen. The two pirates were very curious to know what had brought their captain to them, but he sat with his head in his hook in a position of profound melancholy. Captain, is all well? They asked timidly, but he answered with a hollow moan. <sighs> He sighs," said Smee. "He sighs again," said Starkey. And yet a third time he sighs," said Smee. Then at last he spoke passionately. "The game's up!" he cried. "Those boys have found a mother." Affrighted though she was, Wendy swelled with pride. <laughs>